Parfums de monde, parfums de monde, let's have some fun, parfums de monde. <laughs> Hello, so, parfums de monde, one of my amis, un copain of fragrance, has sent me a nice package with kind of a game to play. And the game is to see what notes I detect in a fragrance. I believe he let me know the answers are on the back. So good morning, afternoon, and evening, my dearest friend, Marcial. Good afternoon, Khaled. I hope this finds you and your family in the very best of times. Pass on my best to mom and sis. I sure will. I'll let them know that. Thank you so very much, Khaled. I have included 10 decants in which some are niche and others are designers. The game is rather simple. Can you guess which is niche and which is designer? They are in no particular order and I simply numbered them to reveal the verdict. Enjoy. Oh, wow. Thank you, Khaled. These are some nice size decants. They're numbered. And I will have to say whether if I think it's niche or if I think it is designer. If you know me, you know that I do not differentiate catalog, indie, niche, uh, designer, simply because I feel that fragrance is fragrance. Same way I don't necessarily see masculine or feminine fragrances, although I do use the word because some things do smell masculine and some things do smell feminine. I don't believe that things that are marketed masculine or feminine uh, should be the limit of your purchase or my purchase. Same thing I feel about fragrances. I buy catalog. What's catalog? Do you know what's catalog? Catalog is like Avon or Jafra or um, Mary Kay, you know, things like that. That's what it is. And then you have designer and I mean, maybe you can consider Bath and Body Works designer, although it's, it really is all Bath and Body stuff. So I don't know. But anyways, I digress. That felt very Marcelina right now. Hey, Marcelo, I digress. This one is number 10. Let's start with number 10. I will spray it here. Let me tell you something. So this is definitely a Fougé or Chypre. I always kind of confuse the two. And I can tell you it's definitely niche. Just that the ingredients feel as if they are uh, quality. They're expensive. But it reminds me of Brut. So therefore it is a... What is Brut? Is Brut a Chypre or, or a Fougé? Whatever Brut is, that's what this is. But what I think is niche, I will put on that table. What I think is designer, I will put on the other table. Number neuf. Numero nueve. Okay. I pick up some alcohol. It's leather. It's designer. This is a designer fragrance. Number nine is a designer fragrance. That I know for a fact. I'm going to drink some water. So essentially, to be a designer fragrance, you are designing anything else and you sell fragrance. Tom Ford designs bags and stuff like that. That's why it's considered a designer fragrance. And then they'll have something like a privé, where they explore things that are not so mass appealing. But niche, niche means that it literally is niche. It's in its particular space. Because it is niche, you would hope that they can concentrate exclusively on making the fragrance, you know, on make, creating something that is uh, wonderful materials. I smell leather, but it doesn't feel uh, like, let's say, super niche, okay? So eight, we're at eight now. Ten, well, he said 10. So what I will be doing is, today I'm gonna do five of them. I'll try not to cheat. That smell is niche. So number nine, number nine smells like a freshy. It's still kind of citric. It probably has clove, bergamot, or lime, something like that. Now number eight is very animalic. It certainly has oud, or at least it has, no, it has oud. It's not an accord, it's actual oud. It's heavy on the spices. It may have something like amber, but it's heavy, it has spices, it has oud iris undertone of iris rose or saffron and i say that simply because i smell the oud so i've always assumed there's a rose or a saffron there in the background Whew. okay yeah that one is strong and animalico now we're gonna go to seven number seven 
Oops. Oh, that one is delicious. It's very sweet. It's definitely gourmand. It's, it's, uh, I want to say ginger. I want to say cinnamon. I want to say clove, vanilla, uh, tonka bean, cardamom. Oh, this one. Okay, so if I have to pick which one I like, which I don't think is part of the game, but if I have to pick which one I like, this one certainly is the most the most likable for me because I'm picking up even Immortel. So you got, if you know me, you know I love Immortel. So this one's the one I like the most and I am assuming that it is designer. Although I feel like it's actually niche. This one has me confused. This It's possible it is one of the Privé line or upper echelon line of a designer. I'm gonna put it on the niche pile. Numero six. Six. I'm gonna spray it on this hand. But that number seven had me going good. I like it a lot. Ooh, this is definitely, this is. <laughs> you know why I'm laughing? This is Club de Nuit on Tons. So it's, it's a, uh, I, you know, Club de Nuit should actually be considered niche because they only make uh, fragrances. But this is Club de Nuit on Tons. It smells so good. I, I love it. I love it. Oh, I love it. Okay, so I'm going to open it. So he did it so good because there's no chance of cheating. I would have to, oh, you could, you guys could actually see the answers. Wow, okay, but anyways, let's go. So number six, I put on which table? Oh, oh wow, you're not gonna believe which number six is. Number six is actually Mancera Cedra Boise. And I put it in the designer and it's actually niche. <gasps> And number seven, I put it in the niche area, and it's actually designer. It's Davidoff Amber Blend. <gasps> the number eight, I got it right. It's Tom Ford Tobacco Oud. It is niche. Number nine is Southern Living Designer, and I did get that correct. I did believe it was designer. And number 10 is Parfums de Mali. Pegasus is niche. So number 10 is niche, it's Pegasus. So six was niche, Mancera, Cedra, Boise, the one I thought was Club de Nuit. You know, that's interesting. Number seven, Davidoff Amber Blend is designer. Number eight, Tom Ford Tobacco Oud, niche. Number nine, Southern Living, 1966 designer and number 10 is Parfums de Marly Pegasus Niche. So I got uh, three, one, two, three, correct I think it was, right? Eh. This was fun. So I hope you tune in for the next game of Parfums de Monde, Parfums de Monde, let's have some fun, Parfums de Monde. A tout à l'heure.